Okay, let us start with the chain rule of partial derivatives. I'm considering a function w equals f of x comma t y of t. This is a function involving a single variable. The x and y depends on a single variable t. The formula to calculate the derivative of a d by dt will look like this. The partial derivative of a w with respect to x times dx upon dt plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times dy by dt. To understand this formula better, we'll solve some of the problems regarding the chain rule of partial derivatives. First, we will solve with respect to one variable and two variable and three variables as well. Let us see the first problem. They have given the function x cube y plus three x square y cube and x is given as four plus t square and y is given as five t cube. In order to get this problem, I'll tell you some steps which you should follow to get the answer. The first step is to make the tree diagram. Let us try to make the tree diagram of a given function. The given function is z. In z, we can see the two variables x and y, right? Z consisting of uh, two variables called x and y. And here you can see x is dependent on a variable t as well as y is also dependent on variable t. So simply you can write, so here the partial derivative of z with respect to x, this one, and the derivative of with respect to t, this, and partial derivative of a z with respect to y, and the partial derivative of dy by dt here, In order to get dz by dt, we need to multiply those z upon this t diagram, which is involving the t, t here, and in this as well. So therefore, dz by the x times dx upon dt, plus look at here do z upon do y times do y by dt this is how we can get the partial derivative to do dz by dt let us calculate it first calculate dz by do x gives 3x square y plus 6xy cube with simple differentiation with respect to x. And we have to differentiate with respect to y as well. So therefore, we can get x cube plus 9x square y square. And we have to differentiate x with respect to t here, 2t, and y with respect to t as well. 
15 t square and hence we will get do z by do t is equals do z by do x times dx by dt plus do z by do y times dy by dt. Let us substitute the values here. Do z by dot we got t x square y plus six x y cube times d x by dt is two t plus do z by do y gives x cube plus nine x square y square times fifteen t square. This is what we can get. It is problem with this. This is the solution for this chain to the partial derivative. And let us see the second problem. In this problem, we will see with respect to two variables, how can we solve? Try to understand this problem clearly. They had given z equals 2x square y cube and x as 2x square t and y as 3x cube t. They're asking to find rho z by rho s and uh, they are also asking to find rho z by rho t as well. The first step is to make the tree diagram. Observe the given function z. z is having two variables. One is x and another one is y. One is x and other one is y. And if you observe here, the S, x is consisting of two variables called s and t. And y is also consisting of two variables x and t as well. S and t. S and t here. This is what the tree diagram will look like. Now here, first we have to differentiate partially, right? Do z with respect to do x do z with respect to do y and here dx by ds and dx upon dt dy by ds and dy by dt here right so in order to get dz by ds we have to take the branch that consisting of a S. If you observe in the first branch, X branch, it, uh, we have the S, right? Z times partially differentiation and then X times differentiation with respect to S. We can get the DZ S. In a similar way, we have to take this path to get the S. So therefore, we can write do a do z. Sorry, do z upon do x times dx by ds. We have to take the part that consisting of s because they are asking to find the s plus do z by do y times dy by ds. From this, we can get the do z by do s. But we are also asking to find do z by do t as well. So therefore, we have to write, uh, we have, let's take the other part of the branch to get uh, do z by do t. 
we have to take this part of the branch. This path we have to follow, consisting of T's. Rho Z by Rho X times Rho X by DT. Ten plus two z by two y times dy by dt. If we follow, we can get the partial derivative of a dz by dt really easily. Okay, let us first find uh, dz by dx, do z by do x is equals 4xy cubed differentiation with respect to x. And similarly, differentiating with respect to y, we can get uh, to 6x square y square. And therefore, differentiating with respect to S, we can get 4ST. Differentiating X with respect to T, we'll get 2S square. And differentiating Y with respect to S, we'll get 9S square T. And finally, differentiating Y with respect to T, we'll get 3S cube. In order to get dz by ds, we have to multiply dz by dx 4xy cube times 4st plus 6x square y square times 9s square t. Okay, this is clear. And in order to get uh, dou z by dou t, we'll have to multiply 4xy cube times 2s squared this time plus 6x squared y squared times 3s cubed. This is how we can calculate the chain of a two variable function. Let us calculate three variable function. For three variable function, they are given the function as x plus 2y plus z squared. And given x is equals r by s, y equals r square plus ln s log, and they are given z equals 2r. Asking to find do w by do r and do w by do s. Let us try to make the three diagram for this the function w. w is dependent on a three paths, right? One is x, and one is y, and one is z. Let us write the three, x, y, and z. If you observe in this, x consisting of a two variables, one is r and another one is s. Similarly, R is consisting of two variables. One is R and another one is S. If you observe in Z, Z consisting of only one variable, 
R. So we have to write this thing. R and S. R and S. Only R. Do W by do X. Do W by do Y. Do W by do Z. Times dx by dr, dx by ds, dy by dr, dy by ds, and dz by dr. Okay. First, uh, let us uh, try to think how can we find the dz by dr. In order to find a do w by do r, we have to multiply do w by do x times do x by do r. Simple. It's simple logic. We have to follow. In order to get with respect to r, we have to follow the path that consisting of r in these three variables. Let us think about this. Uh, in order to solve R, we have to follow this path, right? This path consisting of R. In Y variable, we have to consisting this path. We have to follow this path consisting R. And in Z variable, we have to consisting the only path that consisting of R. In order to solve with respect to S, we have to take the path consisting of S. The S only in these two variables, X and Y. There is no S in the Z. We don't need to take uh, in the Z. Plus do w by do y times do dy by dr plus do w by do z times dz by dr do w by do s is equal the path with consisting of a s in x variable. The path we have to follow d s plus in the y variable by d s. Since there is no s in the last z value, let's calculate uh, do w by do x and uh, all this. Calculating do w upon do x will get a two y plus z squared do y by do w by do y equals x plus two y sorry x plus two plus z squared right differentiation of two y will get two. In differentiating do y with respect to z, we will give x plus 2y plus 2z. And differentiating x with respect to r, r, first differentiate with respect to r, okay. We will get a 1 by s. Differentiating y with respect to r, we will get a 2r. Differentiating z with respect to r, we get 2. And differentiating x with s, x with respect to s is equal minus r by s square. 
and differentiating y with respect to s will give 1 by s since log s is 1 by s. So finally, multiplying these two will get the final answer. In order to get do w by do r, we have to multiply 2y plus x plus 2 plus z square times 2r plus x plus 2y plus 2z times 2. In order to calculate rho w by rho s, we have to multiply 2y plus z square times minus r by s square plus x plus 2 plus z square times 1 by s. This is what we can get. I hope you understand this class and uh, that is meeting the next class.